So what is up guys, Killer Kim today back with a brand new episode of 5 new console mods to hit the Bethesda.net website. This is going to be episode 42 within my series. Without further ado guys, let's just jump straight into the video. For our first spot is going to be the magic follower Velmoran. He sits in Whiterun in the Bannered Mare and he's essential. Does not trigger floor based traps as well, which is an absolute awesome thing. And is indifferent to your crimes. He has a decent set of spells and perks to make him to the best of his ability. He can also has a custom outfit added to his infantry which can be used by your character and worn by yourself. Or if you just want to sell it for a quick little bit of cash then that's also a definite way to go. Overall a pretty cool a little follower here. If you're looking for a new magic follower then this one is going to be for you. Again this is going to be a PS4 exclusive but hope to see this comes over to Xbox One. Steel Orcish Weapons A Retexture. This is absolutely insane. We did ages ago the Steel Orcish armor sets which were cool and now we finally have got the complete set and now we have the weapons retextured. This mod is pretty simple. All it does is retexture all the Orcish weapons to a beautiful crisp steel color. Crafting them is exactly the same as you would with any other Orcish weapon or finding them scattered around the world. Go into the Orcish section, create them through all of the different recipes as you wish i'm actually going to link down the retextured armored version for this one as well so if you want to grab the weapons and the armor they are all linked down in the description i found them pretty cool and i do enjoy a new retexture to do with some of the old armor all they need is a little bit of tweaking and they are absolutely awesome such as this one a juicer a argonian based custom race now if you ever wanted a argonian hybrid then this is definitely going to be one the all the factions to do with an argonian such as powers and that hardened skin have been integrated with a humanoid too i.e the face and the bodies are combined with the argonians too this doesn't replace the vanilla argonians this is a standalone new custom hybrid race added into the game pretty cool to see as well some of the faces on the thumbnails to do with the gallery within the description a on the actual mod forum itself are the faces that you do get. I was a little bit prompt to see this just because of the fact of when you did originally look at it, it was kind of weird and you were probably thinking maybe that's too good to be true. No, there is no potato faces in this. You actually get these beautiful faces within your game too. Reptilian based eye colors will be added into this race such as blue, olive, yellow, green, red and glowing versions of each individual eye color except from the olive. Vampires default to glowing red if you are choosing that vampire hybrid Argonian race which will look pretty damn cool too. Boosted lore friendly stats to 100 HP, 75 magicka and 150 stamina. Overall it's pretty good, all I had to do was install it and away I went. Used the different spells that I had to change the race of my particular character but after I did that I had it and it was all ready to go. Super easy to install, again not too bad for a new race of 57.5 megabytes is definitely worth a steal to try. For a pen armor spot in the video is going to be Mythical Ages Weather Overhaul. The features of this mod are a complete overhaul of the weather and lighting with a fantasy theme scattered around it. Larger variety of weathers in comparison to do with the vanilla based game weather system. Preset system that can be used to change the graphic style. You receive a power spell called Options Mythical Ages presented upon loading the game. Excellent use of God Rays to too, such as the morning and the sunset. Shading is similar to the EBN for a classical Skyrim look. No shaders have been added into a fine toned to make it look better. There's also a different interesting rain and snowstorms, fully replaced of the thunder sound. Rain and thunder now can be heard inside of different buildings too, and sun lens flares have been added to the game. Pretty cool little mod. Again, it is only 2.5 megabytes. I'm not too sure why it's so low, just because it is an absolutely cool mod. Not too sure if it's going to work with all your other different graphic mods, but if you're looking for a slight tweak on the vanilla base game, then this is going to be one for you. Again, an incredibly low down low size of 2.5 megabytes. For the last spot in this video is going to be spells as powers. Every vanilla spell is now a lesser power, which allows for spell casting even when using a bow, two handed weapons, or even a dual wield class weapon base. Because they are lesser powers, they can be used at any point of time without magic or cost. That's also a 
few new spells added into this mod due to the creation kit. Spell tombs are located within the chest at the main entries of High Rothgard. Pretty cool little mod, would recommend grabbing again, incredibly low download size. Why are all these mods such a low download size for a such a useful little mod? This is going to be a 71.2 KB download. Guys, grab all these mods as they're a super low download size. So guys, that's it for this episode. This has been episode 42 within my series. If you did enjoy, hit me up with a like. Let me know in the comment section below if you are going to grab any of these new mods to hit the Bethesda on their website. Click the subscribe button if you are new and ding dong that bell to get daily notifications for every single time I upload. But until the next one, guys, kill a get fit and kill a get out.